we're getting into the game. And I can already see the sieves. <clears throat> Let me stop the music. Can already see the sieves. We're gonna have Valas on the flank as Malay. His pocket is matte with Slavs. So Malay Slavs on one side. The other side, Nolo as a flank, how he got us used to with Byzantines. And his pocket is Magyars. Um, on the opposite, opposite, his opponent, <laughs> sit on the flag with poles. <laughs> Coming out is his pocket with gods. Uh, Dragon Star, the other pocket with Mongols. You guys were right. So Dragon Star is going to play Mongols, and his flank is Mihai with Aztecs. Ooh, Mongol Aztecs can be juicy. No bomber cannons though. So I don't think you want or need Bomber Cannon. Uh... Bro, can we stop spamming the chat with that? One help save IAI. One help save for who? For uh, In this lineup? In this draft? 14, bro? I'm waiting, bro. No, there's no co-caster uh, for this set. By the way, only for the next one, I think. If Mr. Ganji cares to join me. Um, Bas, how do you like uh, Valas' draft? I feel like Sito's draft is a bit more structured. Bas is co-casting from chat, guys. That's the co-caster. Okay, game starting. Second. It's a brutal draft. Okay. Okay. Um, so Valas facing Sito. So captain versus captain on this side. Sito will either have to wall here forward and then here maybe. Or Valas should try to push for more forward walls. He's sending two villagers. Uh, no Loom so far. Loom is in the queue for Mihai on the other side, who's facing Nolo. He's fighting a scout that when the scout was on the hill, there's only one will forward. Oh, he's getting the boars. <laughs> you know that. That's greedy, Mihai. There's two scouts there, and where is my pocket time? Dragon Star was kind of far away. He's arriving now. He might lose that will. Ooh, but he should just tap the walls. That's dead. That's dead. Tap, tap. Tap, tap, tap. Do it. Yeah, that was greedy. That was greedy. And Tanks has another scout here. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Mihai's in shamble. Yep. He's gonna lose that villa as well. Maybe he's gonna manage to... Sneak it, but I don't think so. You yeah, know, he's gonna get uh, attacked by the bear. Oh, lord. Mihai. Well, yeah, at least he got two boars, right? Gonna have a lot of food under his TC while he's vil fighting. On the other side... Um, Valas secured amazing walls too. It's insane to me that Valas got away with these walls. Like, why? These are gonna be hard to keep up though. He has a zoo, a mini zoo for the bear. This is not a wall. I mean, I assume Sito is just letting him get away with it because he's going to push later. But I don't know, man. I don't know. Mihai is down to villagers. That one died. Rip. He's pushing into a long corridor. What I'm thinking is that... You see, let's suppose that Sito is going to start pushing here, right? Obviously, Balas has a lumber camp there, villagers forward. He can still wall behind. But then he can just easily switch target to this side. But again, look where Valas is putting up his lumber camp. I think 
that with that lumber camp, he's still going to have time to go around and uh, wall behind. Hmm. Is Valas coming to wall here? Yeah. Well, Kamigawa is going forward to wall as well. Uh, and then Nolo got some amazing walls as well. And this uh, village trapped again. The scout from tanks goes down. So does the one from Dragonstar. That village wall then keeps repairing. There's three villas attacking it though. With walls from Kamigawa. Valas is gonna come. Wall here. Valas! Hello! Oh, oh, he's there. Jesus, I hate Grey. Amazing walls by Nolo. And his Byzantines. And there's another Vil forward. Oh my lord. Mihai, four wheels down, just can't keep up with a young Turk. I mean... Wait, where's Mihai? Three wheels down and 34 seconds idle TC time while Nolo has three seconds. Absolute professional and that woman is a goner. Yeah, no. Yeah, no. Mihai is in shambles. 15 villagers to 20 from the damn Nolo. Dragons are getting now uh, Loom. I think it was housed, that's why. So, Matt is taking this um, lake. Lake situation, by the way. Two lakes, two, two lakes. However, Nolo needs to keep those walls up because the, the lakes for Team Valas are all very exposed on the flank. No one is taking this. Oh, no, 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 there's three lakes. Never mind. Where's the other? Oh, Mihai has one as well. Never mind. Coming out. Switch. Uh, I, I uh, switched them by mistake, I think, when I was clicking. Sorry, sorry about that. Why do we have to... Uh, I misclicked. I misclicked when I changed this. Yeah, 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 guys. I get it. I got it. I changed it back. Thanks for noticing. <laughs> Um, Teutonic should have taken the safe lake from Nolo. This one. Is is this considered a safe lake? Hey, yeah. Three, four, wait. Yeah, oh, and Sito has a lake as well. There's four to four. Never mind. Oh, no, I like the confusion. Make everyone the same color. All right, all right. Uh, Team Sito is up to feudal age. All of them. Sito didn't end up going forward to push. He's at 32 villagers, obviously with some fish behind. How are his resources looking like? Going to be able to click up to castle after he gets the buildings up. Uh, was that a wise decision, though? Yeah. Mihai is still banging on these walls. While he's at 24 pop, four villagers are uh, idle attacking that. Oh, 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 oh. Great job by Nolo. Absolute professional. Yeah, and that's the thing. You're pushing melee with a lake. And that's simply the truth. You cannot push into these walls. That's an amazing position by Team Valas. On that side and on the other side, just the same, right? Forward uh, walls. Okay, Mihai is up. He's putting down the tower. Nolo is going to get up to the next stage as well. He's going to stone wall. Malik, Malik. Good reaction to just go eco, maybe. I mean, you definitely can push this. I don't. I don't think so, right? 
Okay, wall. And apparently, this is just going to be a boomy game. Maybe the pocket. I'm sorry. Until he dies, true. Maybe the pockets are gonna come forward with Siege to push these walls back. I could see that happening. And I think that's exactly where this villager is going to put down um, a siege workshop. And the tanks. It's gonna do the, just the same, I think. Maybe Nolo is gonna go some monasteries. I could see that happening. Oh, good job from them noticing. There's a hole here. But good job from Valas walling behind this. Yeah. Very nice job. Okay, walls are going up. Uh, Valas is not on stone. But Malay have great uh, monk tech tree. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, one, you, you should still dock, even if you're slums. But Varus is right. Maybe it's something like one, uh, one dock, and then maybe invest into farms as well. Yeah. Already has one. I think he got some extra boards as well. Oh, the poor woman is low. Okay, so we have Siege Workshop from Tanks. Siege Workshop from Dragonstar. Uh, what about the other side? Okay, two extra TCs from Sito. He's just gonna go boom. Okay, like there's no tomorrow. You're uh, booming against Malay with a leg though. With a, against a Malay. No palaces versus two palaces. Uh, what's the two palaces? And who's the no palaces? <laughs> in uh, in Black Forest, gods are considered. To be the palaces. Even though they're not gonna go paladins, right? Or knights to begin with. But they are played in the palaces position. I mean, Byzantines technically have palace. But no one is gonna play... Guys, stop trolling me. No one is gonna play Byzantines palace from flank. I mean, Mane did in Coma Cup, but that was Coma Cup. Hello, Mununes. Glad you could join us. <laughs> True. Not a will fast imp. Uh, possibly, yeah. I mean, looking at his resources. Faster chimp. Uh, not faster, sorry. Cheaper imp with Byzantines. So then, obviously, your timing is faster as well. These paladins are the best homies. All right. Is this the first match where Mongols haven't been banned in the event so far? I'm glad you asked. Yes. <laughs> we were just talking about uh, how we didn't see them at all. Brutal uh, five dogs fish boom here by Mr. Valas. Three TCs. All right. Pop. 58. Sito. 62. All right. Valas uh, slacking. He should have more. He's Malay. Yeah. How are the pops looking like? Very, very even. Team Sito slightly ahead in Nico. Fast Imp versus Fast Imp. Well... Can Mihai do a Fast Imp? It's a Fast-ish Imp. You know? Castle draw from Mr. Nolo. Mm, this game is gonna come down to Mad versus Dragonstar. Alright. <gasps> nice snipe. Or not. Ooh, 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 repair the mangonel! Okay, nice. One for one. 
Uh, the castle will go up. Castle on the hill from Mihai. Nolo is going up as expected. And now what's going to happen on the other side? Still can't get, get over these amazing walls. What is Sito going to play here? Has a good farming eco. And not too many on stone. So he's not going to be able to go uh, early. <sighs> oh, books. University. Maybe... I don't know. Maybe ARBs? ARB BBC? The Mongols go SO plus Mangadite since they don't get halves unlike the other Civ we have seen before. Yeah, usually that's what they're going for. Let's see Dragon Stars boom. 86. Kamigawa's better. However, Kamigawa didn't do a siege workshop. Right? Uh, gods. Gods, gods, gods. Who's going up? Mihai is going up as well, fast ish. Oh, books with God has pocket. No, I think it's gonna be our BBC. I don't think it's gonna go Obuk. But now he has more on stone, so now I'm confused. <laughs> There are the monasteries. Nolo just hit Imp. He's going to have monks and traps. Hey, Gokland, how's it going? Four monasteries. All right. Goddamn professional. Got full gunpowder. I could see that happening. University is going down. Uh, Matt is coming this side. Okay, so are they hoping that Sito is going to hold alone? And they're all playing this side? Uh, but no, 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 no. I don't know. I have a bad feeling about this, guys. I have a bad feeling about this. Mm, okay. Okay. Um, is it worth for Nolo to get latching to range those gates? Uh, Paladin Civ, I would assume. I don't think he's going heavy CA in this scenario. Uh, yeah, there are the stables. <clears throat> Getting the damn bloodlines. I mean, at the end of the day, Paladins are still a very solid. Uh, Answer if you have enough of a mess to Mangadai, which I think is their main concern here. Oh, that trap needs to be repaired. No, no. He's just gonna play a couple of siege workshops here and a couple of siege on this side. Um, and he's gonna play here mostly with hubs. This might be risky though. What is Sito cooking? What is Kamigawa cooking? Kamigawa is planning on cutting the middle. But Valas will know that immediately because he has the scout there. This castle went down. This castle could have been on this hill maybe. Instead of that mining cab. Maybe would have had more success issue with this is that Mihai's both extra golds are forward. <clears throat> and this one is about to run out soon. Oh, I switched this by mistake. Sorry, my bad. <clears throat> yeah, Mihai's eco is a bit in, in, in shambles here. <laughs> I 
SX again. No. Uh, he's gonna have to migrate here. He he's dead. He's dead. Okay, next one in line is Dragon Star. He has four manga dice on the field. What is that castle? Okay. But four manga die are not gonna do it. Are not gonna are not gonna save. I go this side is gonna swing fast. Pala coming up. Paladin is gonna be in in one full minute. And then did he get devotion? That's uh, something interesting to see. Tito is starting to push on this side though. Tito is realizing, yeah, there's going to be RBBC, but the timing is a bit off. And in the meantime, Kamigawa is pushing here with another ball of Arbalesters from Tito. Where's the God Flood in the right side? It's in the middle, bro. And Valas is gonna go elephants. However, Slavs need to need to start playing the side ASAP because they are gonna start ro rolling here. If the God spam is starting, dragons start getting heresy. Okay, I like that. That's a lot of monks. But Nolo is probably going to switch into a unit of his own. Nolo is going to dock the lake. There are gonna be a couple of uh, dromons here for sure. However, this is an issue All of those castles close to those traps. They're not uh, in the back and oh. It all comes down to Valas and Matt's reinforcements to, to hold here. But then again, Team Valas need to push here fast. Fast. Best, but that's a lot of uh, that's a lot of army. Hey, small head, how's it going? Uh, and t apparently, Team Valas is uh, well, Team Valas, Valas is holding here. Quite convincingly, um, he needs more units, though. Did I see champion in the queue? I did see champion in the queue. What about Drujinia? Is that in yet? Because I uh, completely missed. Drujinia is in, yeah. He went early for it. Okay. They're trading already? Yep. Well, gold is uh, starting to be an issue right but where are they um trading look where teutonic tanks i think they're between green and hill bases i mean they cut here they cut here but good reaction at least from matt so we'll be able to wall that to some extent right but i mean a couple of paladins will just clean this up Tanks just needs to send 10 paladins and they're clearing that up. Yeah, the, the waypoint from paladins needs to be switched there so they can clear that up. Because this is gonna get to... Oh, to Matt's fish. That's annoying. Are ARPs the correct unit choice here? Uh, yeah, I don't see why not. Especially against uh, that much infantry. When you have an infantry pocket as gods, they absolutely are. I like the the navy in this pond. Usually, we don't see that too often because some players, especially the ones that are not, you know, BF regulars, are not utilizing the the pond at their fullest potential. Okay, Valas is gonna send back elephants, but elephants are so slow. He's gonna lose. All the fish by the time that comes back. I feel like 10 paladins could have done the job just as well, but hey. 
It is what it is. There's not much... Manga die left waiting for players. Game paused. Okay. Durginia champ opening is a huge mistake, right? Well, he opened Durginia halves. Oh no, what's going on with the game? Why is it lagging like crazy you now? Is this gonna crash? All right. Slideshow. Now nah, we're good. We're good, but it's speeding up. We might. Uh... Why is it speeding up? Did the game crash or something? Tactical lag? True. <laughs> okay. We caught up with the live game. Okay, Pop looking close still. Team Sito is actually ahead. And now Dragonstar is holding this. Ooh, I like the Dromons. I like the Dromons from Mihai. From Mihai? The Aztecs have Dromons confirmed. I think this was a Nolo Droman that was converted by Dragonstar. And then it was converted back by Mihai. <laughs> Lol. <laughs> That's really funny. Even gods can make dramas. That's correct. Gods, hunts. I mean, in theory, I don't see why Mangada wouldn't get a bonus against uh, the Dromons. They're Siege, right? Yeah. Okay, they finally cleared that up. Now there's a lot of uh, Siege here from Matt. A lot of bomber cannons still from poles. Eight of them. Horse color from Kamigawa. Is he afraid that he might lose the fish? Oh no, he actually has like 11 farms, alright. Heresy now coming from Nolo. Uh, heresy, but why? Mihai has three monks and that's it. They're actually managing to push him back here. Uh, yeah. Team, uh, Team Vala's looking quite good here. Is the trade going through the middle? Yep, it is. <laughs> That's funny. What's going on on this side? They're actually pushing back. I can't believe they pushed back up until uh, Mihai's initial base. That is now conquered by Nolo, who has villas over... Over here. Uh, but now Kamigawa is switching sides and starts to flood some halves as well. Time for the damn visiting skirmishers. Is that gonna go down before or... I don't think uh, handguard was finished. An SO shot? Yes, no, maybe. Yes, no, maybe. A juicy SO shot? Come on, Matt. You can do it. Surely that, that Siege Workshop is the only thing Matt is paying attention to. I'm cons convinced. Guys, he told with the... With the... Um, score lead? With the pop lead? With the army lead? They have 50 more military units. And how do you stop Mongols now on this side? Green, 62 on wood. 54. Oh, but he's not floating like ridiculous amount of, of wood, right? It's not like... He's floating 4k wood. Oh, those were some nasty, nasty shots there. Great shots on both sides. 
Ranger can start getting coinage. Preparing to sling his teammates. Look at look at that. Yeah, I mean Kamigawa would uh, use some some wooden foot probably. Mihai is fully boom back into the game and now Mihai is actually ahead and of Nolo. Did Vala just BBC with his own elephants? I would not be surprised. There's a lot of siege here. Those are fortified walls from Byzantine, so a lot of HP on them. But Nolo is a professional waller here. Uh, I wouldn't be too surprised to see some uh, cannon galleons in this. Or maybe Nolo should dock this as well and make Dromons. If he makes Dromons here, that could be that could go a long way. Is that a bomber tower? It is. Nice. Aztec champs on the other side would be Pog. I mean, Obux are, are doing good enough against... And then they have gods with uh, their infantry spam. Oh, this, they're not as good. But they're cheap. Game pause. God damn it, man. This is a very spicy game. Um... I expected the right side to just absolutely steamroll everyone. I think it's surely going guess all or Mongols would doing that instead of sling. Okay, but do you want Aztecs to go SO when you are Mongols? Or not. Yes. Cutting mid. Slowly but surely. Well, slowly, I don't know because they're here. Do, 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 do. Boom. Not gonna work. Oh. Juicy. I don't know, guys. I don't think it's looking uh, that good for Team Balas anymore. We need some demos. We need we need navy from um, the spawn. Oh, tanks is gonna lose all of his fish boom. He needs a farm transition that he's not doing currently. He has the wood for it. Oh, there we go. We have dromons from Nolo. Juicy dromon shots. Another one. Another one. Oh, just missed it. Damn, those are some weak manga dice, though. We need more drones. No, Mongols are gonna go uh, SO themselves, right? Right. It can only make sense. No, no. Try to snipe those. Nice. Nice. Man, they're going down so fast to the freaking man in the day. That's crazy. Sito has a lot of army. Currently at 63 army count right now. His eco is very, very well uh, managed. I mean... Mihai is 165 pop. With just monks. Monks at minute 52 are kind of meh. Ah, uh, okay, wait a second. Because uh, the monks are for the Dromans, but uh, Nolo has heresy. So the those are just dying now. Another SO. Oh, that was beautiful. 
Another one? Another one? Another one? Yes, no, maybe. Yes, no, maybe that was an SO from here. Dromo's getting close. Dromo's getting close. Dragon Star. Oh, those were split. That's nice. Very, very nice micro. From Nolan Oliver King, Chad, microing one single Dromo against all of those. Tanks is uh Paladins are all so low HP bro it's crazy Very very nice shots on those Valas is still continuing to hold here alone but Mihai has now monks here What and slots don't get heresy and oh he's gonna get uh, his stuff converted now Partial tactics from dragon star better late than never hello hey extra pierce armor extra pierce armor that dromon should still go for the manga die and it is uh, but dromons are not doing enough damage to units Jags, please. Hey, this is not this kind of that kind of uh, Twitch channel, okay? Oh, okay, nice. Wait, huh? Did uh, Sito wanted to do Schlachta privileges and he made the tag for trample damage on the Wing Hussar? Yeah, he got the, he got the wrong unique tag, right? Lol. Yeah, look at the uh, dragon start going for nomads. Mega rip, mega rip, but he wanted to do Schlachter, right? Imagine queuing up 10 Cavaliers and be like, hmm, I wonder why don't I have more gold in the bag? Like, this unit should have a gold discount. Full price crappy Cavalier, exactly. <laughs> Mihai Tanke would wake up. Sito could use some of that. Dragonstar could use some of that. Mihai could use deleting 60 of his wills and maybe switching to a proper unit? Maybe? Maybe? 15 cavaliers in the queue. Oh my god. You know, but that, that, that can be a psychological fact as well. Imagine facing poles and see the, you know, a lot of cavaliers coming your way. Oh, he's switching to champions. Okay. And be like, hmm. This dude is gonna start the spam. Little does he know. Nice shots on those arbs. This is a lot of army that I don't know how they're gonna kill. The mini base from coming. What the fuck is this? Schlachta came in. Did he do it afterwards? Ah, uh, yeah, okay. Oh my god. FM! Guess who's back like a bet? Okay. <laughs> Welcome back, homie. I hope your vacation was amazing. <laughs> Freaking FM, bro. We missed you. Maybe, you know, like, yeah, yeah, imagine, imagine. Garland Wars, Iron Casting, Bot Canero for the castles and TCs, I would imagine. But where are the castles and TCs? Yeah, he's just getting all those at this point. Great. Oh, I'm glad you had fun. And you finally saw the, those mountains, right? <clears throat> 
<clears throat> God damn Dromons, bro. O P O O. Look at all those rocks. Look at all those rocks that those assholes are holding. <laughs> Thank you, Axel, <laughs> for the 13 months. <laughs> I appreciate it. Man, freaking Byzantines, they're so annoying to push, it's crazy. Another crazy thing is how Sito has been pushing Valas here the whole time. Another crazy thing is how Valas is dominating with Malay elephants. The, the score is going back and forth, it's super close. This game has been crazy and it kills me to see, to watch Viper stream and to see a comment like, oh, this lobby game has been better than all Rage for a set so far. Where are those homies? Are they watching this? Look at all those trees. <laughs> I saw you call uh, responding to that comment. I swear to God, like, comments like that are, are simply there to trigger me. Official Rage for us caster not impressed. Not at all. That's a lot of SO. And they're drill SO. Look at look at how speedy they are. I've seen only three Rage Forest games and were, they were all bangers. Exactly. Exactly. Okay. Uh we need bomber cannons from Nolo. Yesterday. Because this is. This is problematic. Byzantine castle on a hill. A lot of traps, though. A lot of traps. But I think he has all the upgrades on it as well. 12k wood, I'm not believing this. And Sito has 50 wood in the bag. Like, he needs wood. Ah, this is gonna... This is gonna be... Problematic. Dragon Star could sling some food to Sito. Uh, Valas is asking for food. Matt is sending him. Yeah, we better resource management for Team Valas, I would say. <gasps> oh la la! Look at the carpet of Mangadai. Oh lord. That's the thing, they, they, they can never approach this lake, and good job from Nolo repairing that with all of his life and soul, the Paladin, the pa Good micro from tanks. Good micro, oh my god, they're pushing back all of this. Oh, rip monks, rip siege onagers though from uh, Matt. There are more behind the castle. Castle is still standing. Sito just bought food. True. No, he didn't. Liar. Further up? I can, apparently. What's going on on this side? 70k wood, I'm just leaving the stream now. Don't! How is that my fault? <laughs> Team Valas getting the score lead. That's true. That's true. That's true. I can't believe they pushed this back. I, I, I refuse. I refuse to believe they pushed this back. I refuse. I refuse they be to believe. Sito doesn't have... Uh, never mind. He does have that mass of... Uh, Can you see the damage taken? Yeah. 33k amount of damage. 33k resources. Crazy, crazy. And now how the hell do you stop this? Well, with Drill SO, that's how. Look at him. Vala selling absolutely everything.
Oh, there's some shots. There's some shots on the pilot. Hey, fam. Thank you for the gift this up to Mr. Barnes. A lot of a lot of units coming forward. Dragon Stars. I think Dragon Star needs more trade, no? Or not? Is that a good number? What's going on here? I mean, Vas Wald is behind. They're pushing back this side, they're pushing back this side. Mihai fully playing this side and not too much happening here other than a couple of monks. Monks at one hour and something, I, I still don't think they... You know, they have... They're used... Well, like I said before, Matt doesn't have a um, heresy with slubs, so... Why Mihai has 39 monks? I really think that's purely against Slav so. That's purely against Laveso. And, uh... Well... The Dromons do have heresy on them. But at least you wanna kill them. The thing is, there's a lot of SOs there from uh, Mongols. I don't think they both need to have SO. Yeah, see? More players microing on it just better. You know, I agree with that. Because Dragonstar has two units that are very important to be kept alive. Uh oh, Bomber Cannon approaching and all of those under the Bomber Towers. Oh, Dragon! 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 Oh, no, thanks. Careful! Oh my god, look at that. Damage dealt by those? Okay. Not too shabby, not too shabby. Do Team Valas have too many vills? Well, it's mostly fish. 150, I think that might be okay for the SO player. It's not like they're floating. Well, he's floating a bit of wood, right? Nothing compared to Mihai's 15k. He has only two units, but still not upgraded the second armor upgrade on the Megalite. Does he not? That's true. Yeah, he doesn't have it. That's true. If only Nolo could come a bit forward to put more uh, Bombard Towers, right? Yeah, I see a couple of Cataphracts. If I could only click one. There are Elite. Okay. Can Aztecs convert buildings? They can. Yeah, they have redemption. Um, not castles, monasteries, TCs, or walls, though. Valas and Sito are still going at it. Like, they, they're still going at it. Kamigawa is throwing in some units. Mihai is throwing in some units. Math is throwing in some missiles and champs. Updates on this? Okay, this was a uh, walled back. All right, armor coming. Let's go. Do you think he noticed, or Sito told him? Sito is the kind of teammate that kind of tells you, "Oh, you're missing this or that on your units." So I could see him constantly checking. I bet a teammate told him. I think so too. I feel like if you miss it in the the first time, um, you hardly remember. You know what's the greatest part? The greatest part is that I was thinking, what the hell am I gonna do for like two hours if these dudes are gonna finish the set quick, right? Because there's three hours and a half between the first set and the second. But we're probably gonna fill that up with uh, the rest of the games, because this game is already at 1 hour and 20... 
minutes in game time, but we have Holy Paladin in the base. There has been a cut. There has been a cut. And Tanks is brutalizing the trade right now. That was Kami's cut. That's true, but they didn't uh, wall it. Now Mihai did wall it behind. But now Nolo is sending petards and traps. Alright. Okay, so Valence is switching now for well, the third time uh, his main unit and he's going to continue into Arbalesters and I don't mind that at all. There are a couple of onagers though. Also, the light cav, not the best one. Needs to, be att to pay attention to his units. I think he has heresy as well. Which team has better trade? Uh, I don't know, actually. It might be close. Let's uh, look at the trade cards. Can I see one that's carrying some freaking gold, please? 124 gold for Kamigawa per trade card. And then Valas with 93. Maybe they have better or, or more trade cards, but the route? Yeah, 93, another one. This one, 93 as well. I think the, the route is better for Team uh, Sito. They're trading from here to here. That house man here. Yeah. yeah, this lumber camp's out of my game. This one as well. Yeah, I mean, obviously there are other things to pay attention to. Like, this is almost 800 pop for a while for both of the teams. Obviously, that's a lot of units to control. A lot of army to micro. Yeah, now there's Manga Dice here. And Valas is like, hello, team. Are you playing? That's gonna be that's gonna be problematic. We need some damn cannon galleons in this lake. Hello, Valas. Valas. Oh, he's getting telestocracy. Oh my god, freaking five head move. He's still gonna lose a lot of fish getting uh, war galley and galleys in the docks. Noise. Freaking Chad. Tickles? It does tickle, yeah, but hey. He should get banned from playing Mongols. Hey, they didn't ban Mongols. He said they want to play against it. Well, this is uh, your experience playing against Mongols. My god, those Malay elephants. Okay, SO shots, SO shots, SO shots, juicy SO shots. Where are the goddamn heavy demos? Well, not heavy demos, but just some demos, I guess. Noise. Noise. Brutal SO shots. Are they gonna dive deep, then? Are they gonna deep dive? Because I don't see I don't see this as being a deep dive. I don't see this as being a deep dive. We need some uh, sneaky assholes in all of that maze. Oh, <gasps> they're coming! They're coming! They're walled out. They are. Oh, can bomber cannons? Boom! 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 Hello! 
Hello. Hello. Goodbye. No, bro. No, Matt. No. <laughs> oh, perfect. Overcooked. 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 <laughs> Did they all crash or did I crash? <laughs> oh. They crashed as well? Because I crashed. Let me open the dashboard. They did too, yeah. I don't see them there. Can't wait for another restore that doesn't work. Ooh. Ooh, you, 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 you. Let me ask them. Crash. I was packing and the crash for me as well. Nah, bro. Now what? Error reporting by bugs plat. Okay, well, report these. Imagine we get six games in a flavor tree. <laughs> a treat. Ay, ay, ay. I think we can just ask Lewis who won that game. What if they can restore? Or if they cannot, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Well, this game is so close that if Reed doesn't want you to replay, all right. Let's see. <laughs> yeah. Meta 33 SO. True. True. I had to restart my game though. No.
Well, Rupert. Da la la. Did anyone feel mad as for killing like fancy to BBC by that late? There were some massive uh, shots. I don't. I just saw the manga dies dying, or some of them, at least. Uh. Well. Rip. I don't think they can restore this. All right, well, it is what it is. I don't think they can restore, like if they couldn't uh, restore with him. Era, I don't know. Wait, I lost my mods as well. What? Zach, did this happen to you as well? Lol. It happened to me a few times with those crashes. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's normal. I don't know. My game hasn't crashed in uh, a long as well. What's up with all these crashes? Last couple of days? I have no idea. No idea. I would be very surprised if they can restore. I think so too. I, I think they won't be able to. Too many specs cause crash. No, like there's no such thing as too many specs. We were three or four spectators of that. Um, I spectate games in Warlords with 30 spectators. No, I mean, it was absolutely even map, so restart is okay. I think it was very even. The score was like a 20k, 20k for both. And they started. It's not doesn't allow observers. No freaking way, bro. They didn't put the spec. Hey, believe me, thanks for the follow. No freaking way they didn't put the But it crashed anyway. It crashed, yeah. Ugh, that's annoying. It crashed anyway, I don't think so. New county follower, let's go! Dashboard said spec date with uh, 540 seconds. Yeah, but no, uh, they, they it crashed anyway. And they didn't have a spectator allowed. Uh, if the game crashed, who won? I think they're gonna restart. The game was even. Coma game. It was such a good game as well. If the game crashed to one Lewis. Mm. 
It was. It was an amazing game. Still have hope for a restore? I don't think. Can we go have to do those cuts again? So much work. Dragon Star and Summarize typing. Chatting. You got love. I don't know, I didn't even watch this game. Sounds like a skill issue. Do you have a camera connected? Yes. It's gonna show you Kinderuski sleeping. Do you have makeup? No. Why? You don't want me to stream with a camera without makeup? Oh no. Do I have to be a slave of the society's beauty standards nowadays yeah damn it man happens that's why i don't stream with the camera i'm ugly as fuck just so you know okay i'm making you a favor i'm making Myself, I'm making everyone a favor from not uh, streaming with a camera. Same, bro. I know. I know. Yeah, it's okay, though. Cat can win. I'm trying. I'm trying. Wait a second. I'm cooking something because... Can you make me a coffee instead? Sure. And a sandwich, too. Anything you want, my prince. I should go back to the kitchen anyway because I'm... I'm uh, spending too much time away from it. I'm doing everyone a favor by not streaming. Alright. So, wait. Is my camera connected, by the way? Okay, let's go back to um, the draft while they, they wait for that. Uh, I don't know if it's connected. Let me see. Hey, Taran. Wait, wait, wait. Wait for it. So I got him a cat tree. And he's sleeping. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, wait. How the hell can I? Wait. Ah. Oh. Wait. Okay. <laughs> it's so cute. Also, it took him like a week to uh, get in there, you know. Okay, what's going on? Let me let me check Discord. Uh, if the restore is not possible, you have to restart a new one, as the situation was basically an even stalemate for both teams. No one really being ahead, says Somero, admin of the tournament. Okay, they're gonna try to restore it one more time. How was the flight for the cat? Better than I imagined. 
really better than I imagined. Uh, obviously, the vet gave me some meds for him to calm his anxiety. And he was an absolute baby. He did not say... Because at home... So I had to take him to the vet like uh, four days before the flight just for the regular checkups and uh, he had to get uh, a vaccine as well. And uh, did you also take some of those meds? I, I was thinking. So when I put him in the carrier, obviously I have insane issues putting him in the carrier because he doesn't like that when i put him in the carrier um that was like 30 minutes before going to the vet so he had to stay in the carrier for like 20 minutes before leaving to the vet and guys he was starting to meow his lungs out i was only thinking dude if he's gonna start doing that on the freaking plane what am i gonna do with this you know, like how annoying a, a child is. It's even not started. They're trying to. It crashed. It crashed, and they're trying to restore it. What did you do with your cat? Because he's my homie. He's my homie. He dudes me as well. Gangsta cat. Bro, he's a fighter. I think he's better than getting puked on by some child in the airplane. Imagine. Imagine. I was terrified of this, of this thought. I was like, what if the cat is going to be anxious? And you know. Stuff. Are going to happen. Like nature stuff. Because. Animals and pets have, you know, needs like us as well. It's good smell. I was gonna, I was thinking, what if I, I, I would have died of like, I would have panicked so bad because then I need to go to the bathroom and then change him, right? And that's fine. But, like, yeah, first of all, it's the smell. And second, what if I'm getting him out of the fucking carrier and I can't put him back in? Better than if you could jump in the airplane. <laughs> Kinder is not potty trained. Yeah, but I didn't take his litter, you know, as my personal item in the cabin. Hey, Gashlita, how's it going? <laughs> nah, 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 nah. Uh, Rodney, whenever he would see the carrier, he would just run. Like, he, he really hates that carrier and uh, nah, nah. I can't let him, you know, getting used to because he would just, uh-uh. Whenever I would touch it, sometimes, like one time I was cleaning my room and I was just taking the carrier, like moving it uh, from its usual space to, to clean the floor. When he saw me touching the carrier, he just ran to the kitchen. Uh, can you pet the kinder? I don't, I don't want to disturb him. I don't want to disturb him. <clears throat> don't disturb the boss. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Clean the Ruski.
by such a name i didn't um named him the ladies from the shelter already gave him that name and he seemed responsive of it and i really liked the name as well i don't know it's a cute name uh they gave him that name from the chocolate kinder delice so i i kept it i like the name it's cute Okay, so I don't know if this is going to be a, another re-attempt or it's a brand new game, but we have a game starting. How old was he when you got him? Like five months. Ace Road, how's he going? And now he's four years old. My baby. Are they rematching? They're restarting the game, yeah. So many great tourneys going on. Love it. Thank you, Geschlichter, with the help. For your help, I mean. <laughs> sorry. Guys, thank you for being here. Appreciate you. Appreciate all the love you're showing for the Rich Force tournament. Absolute banger. And I hope you guys are enjoying. <laughs> no freaking way, bro. No freaking way, bro. No freaking way, bro. When I allowed all my mods, I allowed the... <sighs> TOS is Civ Builder mods as well again. I hope it won't show in Capture Age. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Score zero, zero. Yes, there was a crash and they couldn't restore it. Okay, bike in there. Oops. What am I doing? Bike in there. Wait, can you guys see this? I think they were able to restore it. <gasps> What? Okay, 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 okay. Okay. I don't have a... A cursor, though. I don't have a cur... Huh? Okay, okay, it's back, it's back, it's back. I see it. Whew. All right. Uh... Jesus, I even forgot about this game. <laughs> what was happening? Cursor back, let's go. Oh, dramas from gods. I like that. I really like that. Uh, bomber towers creeping from Nolo. Surely they're gonna deal with the dramas, right? Surely, surely. Oh uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Okay, I thought there's gonna be another. Uh... Freeze. <clears throat> okay, so uh, seven eighty pop from team valas 718 from team sito valas has the score lead at the moment game very very close still uh looks like they are convincingly pushing this back though i think we need some uh some dogs in this pond from nolo as well <clears throat> good asshole uh, shots on those dromos what about the other side <clears throat> Um, was the yellow in the right? There was an attempt. There was an attempt, Babylon Vampire. It's 
Some people w said it was a meme. Absolutely not. In Black Forest, you need to make use of your uh, pawns. Oh, game is lagging like crazy. No. You have a powerful machine? I do. But this didn't happen before my uh, before the restart. I think this is happening in game as well. It's not the machine, it's the game. Yeah, I, I do. I, I just changed my PC. You do? Yes, I do. What's the color of your RAM? Okay. Team Cito losses by the looks of it. I mean, they're pushing quite convincingly here, right? Um, and it doesn't seem like Sito is advancing here. Check out mass resources. 10k <laughs> wood. Well, Mihai has 2k. What did Mihai do with all that wood? <gasps> Mihai had 10k as well. Ah, oh, it's crazy. They were able to restore. Yep, yeah, that's true. Okay, we have... Uh, we're back with Dromos in this lake. The captain show match we saw Longbook Cannon hold the pawn against Koreans was cool. True, true. I remember. I remember that game. That was pretty good. The units queued. I mean, yeah, 120. Oh my god, massive shots on those. Were those uh, meds, SO, or were there? Oh my god. That's a carpet of SOs. That's crazy. I mean. Would it be bad for tanks to go cav archers here? I mean... Why? I feel like paladins are still a better choice. Against the Mangadai. You won't have a cavalry. You really won't have a cavalry here. Tim Valas has this, I think so. Like, this is this is crazy. This is crazy. And now Valas is actually pushing back uh, from there as well. I mean, there are paladins now in the eco. Mangadai chasing them, but... Nosito made another tech switch. He went everything that he could have uh, made with uh, with poles. Thanks asking for food. I mean, the pop is dropping from Team Valas as well. But that's just because they're losing army, right? The the raiding ones. I think Magyar's are good on paladins here. However, he needs to take care of his food eco. 125 champions in the queue from Matt. That's crazy. And now we have Aztec Spikes against the Halves, I guess. But they won't do the trick. The rates are doing surprisingly little. That's the thing. So if... If you're raiding, you want to raid with a unit that can, like, just sit in the trade and one-shot. Usually range units, right? Elephant Archers, Cav Archers, Camel Archers, Mangadai, and so on. The Paladins are just gonna chase all of that around 
They're gonna chase this, get one hit, chase it for a while, get another hit. So yeah, raiding with Paladins, not the, not the best. Dear God, that Q it threw 25 siege runners in the Q and 120 champions. Maybe, maybe it's gonna delete some of uh, that eco. Is disrupting farming eco not good because it takes so much attention to clean up? Well, the thing is with Mangadai, you just select like 15 of them and you patrol them to either patrol them or right click the paladins and they will continue to chase right magnets are doing a, a really good job cleaning that up but valas has a, an impressive push here he's actually pushing everything from sito back he's down to 55 pop uh army sorry guys i'm sorry for these crashes or like small freezes i don't know what's going on It's not you. I, I I know, I know, but I guess it's still annoying. I guess it's still annoying to deal with, yeah. Oh, nice shots, man. That's a lot of army. Jesus Christ. I think they may have sold you a bad PC. I'm I build my PC. Oh, that could be it. Okay, that's your first warning as well. I think a bit, a bit of too much trolling, and it's a bit too morning for me to deal with all that trolling. And uh, I still haven't fully finished my coffee. First, first. What on earth? That yellow base in the corner. There was an attempt. It was discovered and blocked, though. There was an attempt. Mem doesn't have the lag. All right, go watch Mem then. Um, that's a lot of siege. That's a lot of siege. I don't, I don't know how they push this back. Bombard towers could be one of. One of the methods, but there's 19 siege onagers from Dragonstar. Oh, 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 no. Lost that siege onager before you can shoot. There's not a lot of manga dice left, though. Still 47 on the field, but they're not there. I mean, surely cataphracts are gonna clean this, right? Right? Polish CA any good? I mean, they're missing the last armor, but other than that, you know, pretty decent. Once again, they're pushing this back. Once again, there's dogs going up, dromos in this deck. I feel like I'm having a deja vu here. But I mean, they're pushing this side, right? Still 200 pop for uh, two of the players from Team Sito. Well, actually, never mind. I think Sito is housed. 
or maybe that's just like uh, how it's showing during, uh, due to the queue. Gauss just feels useless at this time, stage of the game, Ex especially against Druginia champs, right? Holy shots on those CA. Oh my god. They're back to Dragon Star's base. They're getting incredibly close to the trade. Yeah, exactly. Look at what I was saying earlier about the um, Paladins in the trade. Trade cog? No, it's a heavy demo. Three heavy demos. Oh, 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 oh. It's just, they can't stop this. Da -da -da. Dragonstar will have to swing with Mangadai to, to push this back. However, the Mangadai are needed here fully. Nice shots from the Dromons. Nice. Imagine if the left side has Aztec onagers. Yeah, it's... Mihai has 14 monks and 14 pikes. And that's... 67 trade cards. He's slinging. He's fully slinging at this point. I dodged a bullet on this one. Ganji, they, this is a re, by the way. I don't know if you just joined. Uh, it's not a re. It's a restore. I mean, it... Uh, it crashed like 20 minutes ago. That's why my uh, capture is just lagging afterwards. I need to restart my my game. Restore actually working at crazy. They had the... Um, they tried two times and it worked because, oh my god, if... It was like one hour and 30 already in. If they would have had... Uh, to restore that one, that would have been crazy. And I see Nova making Dromons. I think this is like the fifth time at least when there are Dromons from Nolo in this lake. Like they, Dragonstar keep pushing them back up until here, then they're pushing back. And also Dragonstar was with all of this force. Oh, he's losing everything now. The pop is dropping significantly. Oh, he's losing a lot. 40 manga dice. 27 Sea Johnagers in the queue. 44 from uh, Matt. <laughs> GG. <laughs> Holy crap, what a game. Jesus Christ. So, this push, this 40 manga dice and 20 Sea Johnagers was here. And Nolo pushed it back with Dromos in this lake. This was only game one. Team Valna's taking game number one. Okay, let me um, close the music, by the way. Let's take a look at the resources, but I don't think I can see. We're going to need to carry even harder. Yeah, I don't see the resources only after this. Ah, crap. Total crap. It was a good game, though, and I'm happy they were able to restore it. Uh, in the meantime, let me do a couple of things to my game. Uh, first, let me change the score for the people that are joining. Team Vala seeking game number one. Now, let me go to mods and unsubscribe from a couple of uh, these things. Sure. Booming competition. Sure. Which four is four? Not anymore. Okay. Let me close capture as well. Okay. 
the decision to go full Aztecs infantry into Trujinia plus Esso is baffling. And that's that's what the monks were for, uh, right? I do think that giving Dragonstar an extra pair of hands to micro more Esso's on the right side would have been a good move. But that didn't happen. Okay, so we've had Mongols losing, surprisingly. I don't know why people are banning this. They're trash, right? They just lost. Mongols, Poles. Uh, Goths and Aztecs. Well, other than Mongols, there was quite of a crappy lineup here. Had Slavs, Byzantines, um, Magyars, and Malay. Quite a good uh, lineup for game one for Team Balas. What happened to the crash? They restored the game somehow. Finally. Guys, Kinder Switch Sides, by the way, is now. Hello, baby. He's now sleeping on the other side. Update on the baby. Hey, Otter. <laughs> Looks like his eyes were, are open. They were for a bit. He closed them back. Freaking cutest thing. He moved and we missed it. God damn it. <laughs> he sends the camp turning on true. Hey, Socrates. How's it going, homie? All right. Um, time for Valas to unleash the Hassar SO play with the Georgians. Georgians, Tatars, or oh, maybe, maybe. Tatars are on the, on the other team. I mean, uh, Georgians, Franks. Um... Why are you playing on flanks, though? Chinese Romans? No. Ah, uh, could be. I could see Japanese and Cumans being in the same game as pockets and with Dravidians, Burgundians. I think Romans and Chinese are both too meh. You need one bomber cannon and one non bomber cannon. Maybe... Okay, yeah, maybe Georgians, Burgundians on one side. And then Franks, Romans on the other one. I don't know. Something like that. Zorki, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. They started. It's going to be Chinese, Franks, Japanese, Burgundians. I was close. So... Japanese instead of um, Georgians. All right. They're holding on Franks. Never mind. Franks Teutonic Tanks is playing them. I was hoping they're holding for Chrisibu. What is Chrisibu playing in game three? He could play Burgundians. Smooth boom. Right. Uh, okay. We're starting. Okay. 
So game number two. Uh, we have Valas on flank playing against Ito. Again, captain versus captain. So no change of positions. Closed BF. Mm, somewhat. This is another generation like um, the one between Team Hera and Team Tato in game one and three. I don't know if you guys still remember where the flank has basically a, an opening to both the opposite flank and the opposite pocket. Lake. Let's check the lake really quick. Um, one versus one. Three shortfish versus... Sh five shortfish. All right. Slightly worse for uh, Team Valas. I assume Matt with Japanese is going to take it, obviously, since Franks have their... Um, farms what are the admin bands in red on the bottom those are the random bands in the tournament they're just like that admin bands and they are random and any sieve can be banned so after the admin bands are are shown Every team has the right to ban extra two civilizations and then pick from the remaining ones. I think uh, with th this draft, there's only one sieve that gets left out, basically. Okay, Sito getting away with some amazing walls that apparently Valas is not going to fight for. Uh, Sito is in cut, so he has an ego. Things can get spicy, however, we're going for it on the other side. We have Mihai versus Nolo, once again at it. Nolo is Chinese, so for him, it's a bit more tricky to fight for uh, the forward walls, right? Uh, since he can only send villagers later on, the, the start is a bit tricky with Chinese. Sending another one. Kamigawa is here with a scout for Mihai. I don't see a scout from tanks. Oh, he's going back. Never mind. Sorry. There's a sneak here, but Valas knows about it. I see a lot of flares on the map. So they are going to be looking for it. Hey, Louis. We love Oasis. Louis, I don't understand your anger. Every single one of your games were open maps and aggressive maps. Oh, there's a sneak from Mihai as well. But Nolo saw it and Nolo is chasing it. Just Louis things. All right. All right. That's a lot of boars. If Dragonstar is going to get those walls up. And apparently he, he is. But apparently... Valas is not concerned with this. Seeing how this develops... My thought is that Valas is going to go for either a pushing Castle H or a fast imp HCBBC. Once open map gets it, gets no wall, FC booms and dies. <laughs> All right. All right. Hello. This is an issue. This is a big issue. Like, how are they not addressing this? There's one lake with less shorefish. They have Japanese. They want Japanese to have undisturbed fish. There's a sneak. Oh, that's greedy dragon. Dragon, homie. Someone forgot about the Amigo Wars 2. Lewis was in a winning team in Amigo Wars 2. And he offers Amigo Wars 2 as a reference for every single... Future Black Forest game ever. The Rage Wars is not Amigo Wars 2, homie. Chico. 
It's my one and only achievement. I mean, it is, I'm not saying, like, it's... Uh, you should be proud of it, right? But, uh... Is Louis already 2k7 or road still ongoing? Well, I, I mean, to give credit to Louis, I've seen people going for more... Uh, Again, they know about the sneak as well, and they're not addressing it. Did you pick 2k6, Lewis? I didn't see you actually got it. That's crazy, man. That's uh, that, that's just crazy. That's uh, a lot of improvement. 2443, same thing. Ah. Ah, okay. Uh, a sloppy play from Mihai. A sloppy play to make a house there that can be boxed from Nolo. <laughs> hey, Vex, thank you for the 10 homie. This is gonna be an issue. Oh my god, the poor man is going to be in a slight coma here. Because he's gonna be attacked from land and from water. Surely, right? No, Mihai put down a barrack. No. Alright. They are still fighting over this. The damn Valas is gonna sneak on the lake as well. Or is he? Or is he? He's not. He's not. He's... Alright. <sighs> oh, hello! Oh, hello, pretty girl. Matt? Oh, shit, yeah, kinder turn, by the way. I'm just gonna... Really quick, he turned. <laughs> we missed it, goddammit. More important things happening. Matt dying. Okay, Matt. Ooh, I like the spear, actually. Did Matt see this stable? It, uh, stable, sorry, archer range? He did. He did. And now it's panic time. It's panic time. <laughs> okay, we're gonna just put down a TC. Alright, seems legit. Uh, blacksmith going up from Mihai at home. Oof. It's not gonna be pretty, my homie. It's not Japanese fishing ship, though. It's gonna survive for a while. This woman can repair. I think we might need a different one, though. A healthier one. But, I mean, stuff are happening here. And Sito didn't find too much damage here in Matt's space. Very good reaction. Look at the, the walls, the... You know, on point. What is... This is still happening. Like, Christ knows what is going on here. Those are all Dragon Stars walls. Alright. Uh, how's... So, Valas lost four villagers. And Nolo killed one and Valas killed one. So, that paired up with the idle TC time of one minute from Nolo. Oof. Only puts them a couple of villagers behind, actually. Never mind. Never mind, archers though in Valas's base. I think uh, he can dive here. Oh yes, he will. Oh no. Oh no. I don't know where to look. Like everything is flaring. This is being attacked. This is being attacked. There's high level. Oh, me high lost of woman, and the stable is not gonna go up. 
Okay, there's a siege workshop. In theory, that's gonna go down. Uh, I mean, all of those archers are gonna go down. Nice job. Nice job. However, Valas still in a slight coma. It's gonna close this with stone walls. Nice. Nice. There's a stable going up. Double bit from Nolo. Okay, so... They're gonna... Be fine. Copium. 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 Oh my god. Valas is what? Eight villagers down. Ooh la la. 26 at the moment. And the lowest from the opposite team is Mihai with 37. Oof. Oof. Dragonstar has 32. Yeah, but I'm blind. Um, at least, at least Dragonstar is in Castle Age, so he's gonna put a second and third TC down, right? Oh, I see the second. He's playing as Saracens. Okay, so another great, um... Associative. He had a pretty decent micro on those last game, right? There's a couple of resources that the players need to cut in here. All in all, quite. Uh, thank you um, for the follow, by the way. It's a lot of army. It's a lot of army, but we have scorps. We're we're Gucci. We have scorps and spears. Dragon star with someone forward TC. You know what? I don't mind it. Oh my god, he's gonna have so much food here. And the gold, and you know what? You know what? Not too shabby. I I like it. It's uh controversial, at least. Okay, another TC going up from tanks. Uh fifty-eight. The just stream so early. Oh, we're already two hours into the stream, Commissar. Eagles cling up a uh, message. Yeah, I mean, that was a bit. Uh, that's the issue with Meso. With barracks and archery range, they can do so much damage because they can easily add a couple of eagles. You can add monks. Two times market. I mean, hey. Trans transactions are faster. You can't add monks. Because they're being uh, sniped by the eagles. You can't just uh, put all your hopes in two or three scorpions. Sitan's doing so much with his sneaks. So Sitan has now aggression with archers putting on the pocket. And on the flank he has a monastery and eagle aggression. That's crazy. He's in such a great spot. It's not even funny. One one incoming. It might be too early to call it, <laughs> but Siton is in an amazing spot. Two hundred and fifty pop. Two hundred twenty-eight. Team Valas has a lot of army as well, but I mean, Team Siton uh, is countering all of that. Team Siton has twenty military units count, and Siton has nineteen of them. I mean, and now he's even going to the other flank. So poor Nolo is doing shenanigans on the front, and now he's being rushed from the pocket. What is this? Balas is going up to castle. Let's go, Balas. Kamigawa is going up to him. I see the buildings. No, forward university. With Hans. He's going up to him. <gasps> He's going for the fast cut voice with Hans. <laughs> oh, that would be funny. <laughs> oh, no, it's going to be CA. Uh, there's basically an open freeway here. 
I mean, it's not walled. It doesn't seem like it's going to be possible to wall anytime soon. Um, Kamigawa has eight people on stone as well. So I wouldn't be surprised to see a castle on Valas's face. On his damn face. Matt is finally clearing all of that. But how much resources is he put into all of this? 82 versus 102. So 20 pop ahead from the Saracen player. From his pocket. Opponent one, right? And he has the fish. Uh, I mean, he had to fight on water and on land against this. Tanks, 104. He's going up to Imp um, versus 105. So they're they're quite equal. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Valas man to wall, but no can do. No can do. Kamigawa is here with the damn CA and siege workshops. It's going to be CA and probably Rams. He's getting Bracer, possibly Chemistry soon. Oh yeah, there it is, it's in the queue already. Mihai click up to the next stage. Mihai, 69 villages, professional. Valas, 38. Valas is pretty much dead. Yeah, I feel like he needs to start doing the, the good old run here. This is super GG. Well... Didn't we say that last time for Team Sito and then Team Sito got the score lead for like 30 minutes of the game? Wait a minute. It's not... It's not... Put it on the hill! Alright. Valas that equals GG. Nah, bro. It's it's just n not like that. It's a team game. Valas knows his pockets. His pockets did take a lot of damage though, so I don't know. It's looking really bad. You know, I'm I'm trying to be a hype caster right now. <laughs> Valas playing migration without water. Well, he's migrating. He's migrating. I even tanks made a couple of scorpions. Scorpion. Mihai, I'll post rushing the middle. All right, all right, all right. Uh, there's a ghost down here. Well, actually, there's a couple of villagers. <laughs> exactly. Mononez knows what I'm talking about. Chances we see heavy scorpions? Zero, probably. Coming out showing the proper Persian tactics timing to Dragon Star, exactly. Not Dragon Star after having like 100 manga die. Realizing 50 minutes into the game that, oh. Well. Would be a shame if we don't see Heavy Scorpion. I think so too. Especially against Hans. They don't have onagers, right? Surely they can snipe them with the traps. Alright, Paladin in the queue from Mr. Teutonic Tanks. And most likely he's going to play this side. Uh, stables are in the middle, so yeah, there's a lot of Cavaliers already here. Valas dead. Valas is dead. Valas is rebooming, bro. Trust the process. Trust the process. The main issue right now is all of these resources being able to... Freaking Valas, I, I love this. He's walling in the gold so his opponent flank can can take it. Bro. It's small things like this. They're about to break in here. Paladin is still one minute away. Kamigawa getting coinage. It's in a pretty sweet spot. Like, he has a decent boom. Second best boom in his... Uh, 
in his team, considering, you know, the fast-ish imp. Ooh, Onager's in the queue, but that mango is snipe. Yeah, Tanks was hoping to to wait for Paladins, but now Camels from Saracens, ooh, they're melting everything before Paladin, you know. I mean, I can understand he was forced to take that fight, right? I mean, not forced to, but... Well, kinda. Oh, no, thanks. Paladin is in, and... Yeah, there's still 36 Paladins. Uh, not, not enough, not enough to deal with everything here. We're going on the other side and to into cut, but coulda, woulda, shoulda. Could have waited. Well, if he would have waited, then Matt is erased. Erased. Hey, Mix Square, how's it going? Well, that was a short one. 66 Paladins, 85 Cav Archers from Kamigawa. Brutal. Brutal. Uh, nice, KD. Most resources collected as well. Man, Kamigawa MVP of, of this game. Uh, well, actually, now looking back at the timings and the amount of um, damage Sito has done. <gasps> Guys, Kinder is out because Kaya is here and he's pooped. Kinder, oh, or it's okay, it's okay. Kaya is just chilling. You go back, go back to sleep. Okay, well, I'm gonna show you later. <laughs> Good game though, very solid game. Hello. 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 Go back to sleep. The cat looks so cute. I love him so much. He's so curious. Can the cat cast? Of course, he's my caster. He's scared of the doggo, but the doggo is just chilling on the stairs. Wait, maybe I can show you. Oh, no, no, no. I need to drag the camera. But... Can you see her sleeping there? <laughs> oh no, my charger is here. Oh. All right. All right, all right. Should be good. Let me change the score really quick. Uh, team Sito. Team Sito. Team Sito. One and the sieves were Franks losing. Japanese. Chinese and Burgundians. And for Team Sito, it was Saracens that won. Incas, Hans, and Malians. Okay, so nice lineups here for the last game.
some Chrissy Georgians game plan coming. No, I think Valas is going to play Georgians. Um, Georgians, Cumans, Dravidians, and Romans. That's an interesting lineup from Team Valas. And then from Team Cito, we have the classic Halbeso, Pala with Sicilians and... Uh, Tatars and then Berbers and Bengalis on the flank. When will we see Komabu flank? I don't think we're gonna see that this game. I don't think so. Oh, he's gone. Gone to the window. He's just gonna chill there. Looking. <laughs> All right. I think I prefer Team Sito's um, remaining sieves. But Valas can be dangerous with the Georgians. He really likes to play them. Hey, so bang, so good. Where are you marching, homie? All right, all right, all right, all right. We clanks for Valasitis. Valasitis. Romans 100% win rate. All right. I think I think they're weak as well. Who are you? Hmm. I like Dravidians. I don't like Romans. Okay, Kinder is gone. Goodbye, Kinder. Thank you for your service. Oh, he's, he's back. He actually wants to be held right now, but I, I can't. Oh. Yours and mine, so too. All right. All right. Valas is going to play Romans and Matt with Gorganis. All right. I forgot I dominated with the fast dim Dromon play. Fast dim into shipwrights and Dromons. Okay. Any news on the Nilpferd announcement? Is that Nili? <laughs> Maybe Valas opens with a double workshop scorpion play. All right. He and Jordan are in Red Bull World on its players as casters, yeah. Good thing. Uh... Hmm. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to finish that sentence. Nope. Yep. It's Pog. Nearly short for... Nilfred? Oh, really? I didn't know that. Um, yes, they are in the lobby. I'm in the spectating. Um, whatever. Waiting. Waiting room. <laughs> Will you be there in Wallo? Nope. Nope, nope. Caster waiting room? Exactly, exactly. So... Uh, Sito is going to play Berbers. If Sito is going to play Berbers, I think he's going to Vil fight. Nilfred is the German word for hippo. 
hence the hippo symbolism and the name ah okay that makes sense i didn't know that roma's playing with five percent handicap a good thing vala needs it right All right. Sito versus Val. No. Sito versus the, ne the damn Nolo. Nolo uh, once again with a lake. Forward. Same for uh, Sito. Four fish. Four fish. Four fish. Three short fish. All right. Well, not the end of the world. I'm scared for Nolo. Anyone else? I'm not. I don't think Nolo is scared as well. Look at look at the homie go. Look at the homie go. Without loom? Without loom, broski. Make loom Nolo. Okay, he is. He is. All good. Nolo dead? Nah. He can okay. He can okay. Dragon Star is here for Sito. Um, Matt is now playing for... Uh, Nolo Dravidians, Georgians on the same side. On the other side, we have Mihai versus Vala. So we didn't see this before. Mihai might be in a slight coma. Mihai, I'm, I'm scared for Mihai's life here. Good walls. Well, good walls for Valas, I would say, if he was behind this. He got some very good walls here as well. And Mihai is just gonna let him get away with this. You know what? He's he's not gonna bother, bro. He has three extra boards on the other side. The tires are garbage, so Vala's team wins this. Guys, I, I don't even need to have Mununes as a co-caster. That's exactly how his statements are on voice as well. First three minutes of the game... Okay, that team is garbage, so, uh, you know, the other team is gonna win. GG next. No way, bro! Nolo was a fighter. Nolo fought for these walls, but Sito is like, you know what? Yeah, you want some more of this? Okay. I'll show you some more of this. And oh my god, if he gets the walls up here, that's crazy. The other side. Mm, Valas is trying to get those boards, I think. But Mihai already got them. And we got always here with a scout to check for a sneak. Valas is getting away with one on board of, from there as well. Is it almost like, well, this? All right. All right, all right. So, how are the Civ matchups? We have Romans versus Bengalis. Romans get absolutely rolled, I, I feel like. And Tatars, Cumans. If Romans and Cumans are cooking, that's good. If they're not, also a lineup with only one Bomber Cannon Civ. Surely that's not all right. And that's Ravidians, and they're missing the Siege Engineers, right? Could be a tricky... ...to play versus uh, Sicilian Esso. Doesn't Georgians get BBC? Nope, they only get Hand Cannoneers. Chasing. Sito is going for another. I mean, his Berbers. You you can catch up with this. To be fair, other team 
also only has one bomber cannon sieve. Uh, true. True. That's correct. We have uh, the Tars traps, though. Can shoot you from Narnia. Mihai is up to the next stage. What is Mihai cooking? He has Bengalis. Has a lake. Um It feels like wind festives from Team Balas. Yeah. Oh, game post. Asking for a re maybe? <laughs> Balas is going up as well. Mm. Who's, who's playing humans? Tanks. Tanks is already up, putting down a second TC. Um, not having a lay come in with humans, that's probably not ideal, right? Matt is taking this one. Is that wise? I think I have Black Forest experts in chat. I saw all the homies here. I saw Ganji, Somero, Mununes earlier. Um, should Matt take this lake instead of uh, the Cuban player? Georgian some of best farmers in game. Exactly, especially with the um, the church, right? Definitely, mad fish booms are brutal. That is true. We did see that, right? But wouldn't wouldn't tanks benefit more, or tanks is maybe more used to pure land boom? Because I feel like he would benefit more with humans from this lake. Our Chinese in rich forest. Uh, not the best, not the worst. Usually they're played on flank. Okay, the damn man at arm play from Valas. Uh, do we have a quick blacksmith and the armor upgrade maybe? I think on pure like farm sets, regions would be better for farming. I think so too. That's why I'm asking. But there are situations like, yeah, you know, like Bars is saying, when you have a player that's very good, for instance, at, at fish booming, and maybe he would get a better usage out of that um, lake, right? Oh no! Now, Mihai, what are you doing? Are you sacrificing those three villagers? For the walls? Oh no! Or are you letting the Manatarns in and sacrificing more? Oh my god, Mihai! Oh la la. And now there's a blacksmith going up. No armor. Maybe Valas doesn't think Valas uh, armor is needed or well actually he can't afford it right now Finland dominating Romania yes sir Sito is in a jail for now in the meantime Nolo Bruh. He transported the villagers to get those stone walls up. <laughs> nice, I love Nolo. <laughs> okay, Dragonstar is going up to the next stage. He has a couple of stone walls forward. A villager here as well. So maybe a siege workshop. Maybe. Maybe. Matt is up as well. 
Oh, I see destroyed uh, fish traps. And I think those were from Kamigawa. His scout is gonna die though too. Thanks, especially with against the human scout who's faster. Balas, homie. Take a chill pill, man. To be fair, that's a feudal age gate. The Roman Vils punch faster. I don't think so. <laughs> they could just, you know. Okay. Well, it is what it is. You know what? You know, I don't think that uh, gate is gonna be in, in time. I don't... Well, actually, those are Berber villagers. Nolo... Boom, he's in. shit. What the fuck is my cat doing, bro? He almost suicide himself. Nolo is such an interesting, unique flank player. I mean... He's not a noob, bro. Probably one of the best flanks in the game. Like, if you're gonna go for a for a flank. I don't know how he was left out so early in the draft. Like, I don't know how Valas, who was top three captains, I don't know how Valas got to pick him. And I think he picked him the, the second, maybe? Or was he his first pick? I don't know. But anyway, he's an exceptional flank player. Thanks is gaming. We have battering ram. Uh, no cap ram in the queue. I would expect a, like a second, a second workshop for that. Right, it takes a while to be created. Um, those are still feudal age uh, stone walls, by the way. And I think Tanks is gonna roll. I think he's gonna absolutely roll. There's a mangonel here, so there goes uh, walling behind. Battering ram, maybe? Tanks? He needs like 300 food for that. I think this, this is gonna be a quick one, boys. That's what she said. Knowledge is gonna wall this. It, probably expecting a fast team from Tito. Trebs. Professional waller. Professional waller. Uh, yeah, that castle behind is going to go up. But at what cost? That's a lot of dead villagers I see there. A lot of villagers, and now Valas is here taking this gold, bro. <laughs> All right, uh, four stables, camels from Kamigawa. Slight over investment, maybe, maybe, but you need the number fast, right? And you need a lot of numbers against all of those. Uh, good thing Valas has monks, you know, so. Oh, even bloodlines for for those now. I mean, 
They need monks from Mihai, but Mihai is in a coma. 41 villagers. Okay, one conversion. Second one might follow. Oof. Oh, there, there was there were two of them already, actually. Never mind. Third one. Oh, fourth one. Oh no, Kamigawa, homie. Oh my god, this game is over. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did I save some bills? I mean, he has an eco here, but uh, I mean, I mean. I mean, yeah. I don't want to call it too fast, but Matt is going up to him. And Matt is going to probably open this side as well, since everything is open and they're just going to roll. Nolo just walls and holds this side. And here comes the barracks on this side. They're even ignoring Mihai. Like, Mihai is irrelevant at this point of the game. He has 40 bills, one castle to protect him, and that's about it. He can't afford to make anything. He probably has too many people on stone. He would rather have them on gold and make monks, maybe. But at this point, it's too late to make monks as well. Because your ally already lost all the stables and the camels. Like, he has six camels. He's making more, but... Okay, if he's investing more, then definitely Mihai should make monks. Still don't understand why Mihai sacrificed those three vills early. Because it was either the life of the three vills or having three Roman men at arms in your whole base. Because you could delete the gate that you were making, right? But then you let the men at arms in as well. So is it worth it? Those men at arms could have done more damage than... Uh, more damage, more idle TC time. Not idle TC, but idle... Idle time, basically. Coming for TC booming was a mistake. Needed to give me high the workshop. Needed to give me high anything, but now... He's giving Vala's camels. That's all he's giving. Vala has more camels than Kami. <laughs> 15. 9. Oh my god, he got 9 conversions. Jesus Christ. One villager castle. Alright. Alright, Matt. That was a tiny bit, uh, you know. Questionable. It's alright, though. Dragon Star is here with. Barracks, Sicilians go brr. Housed, heavily housed at 140. What's Sito cooking? Nothing. Sito is Omega booming. Jesus Christ. Alright, alright. 70 military count from Valas. And they're ahead in Eco as well. That's crazy. That's crazy. Okay, see, so Mihai is joining with a couple of monks, and now Mihai has more stab lancers. Never mind. He had a couple of stab lancers, and when I'm saying a couple, he had like three. <laughs> if Nolo gets to residize in the pond, I mean, if someone knows how to utilize the pond, it's Nolo. We've seen that last game. No, not last game, first game, sorry. Now he's gonna reboom there. Also, good thing from Begali is there, get extra villagers per TCs. And they're advancing to the next stage, but we're still far away from that. Still no Catram from tanks. I would like to see that. But now we have First Crusade in the queue. Uh, maybe I would like the First Crusade to be made... 
later when you're closer to 200 pop. But I do understand that you need it ASAP, right? You need the timing. The momentum! I mean, they're just gonna clean house here. No question about it. At least Sir John's in the queue. He has 25 on the field. Ready to roll. I feel like they're missing their window here. They were stalling a bit too much. Mihai is gonna lose all, uh, everything here. There's a trap out. 46 military, 48 from Dragonstar, so quite equal. Never did cap ram. Yeah, I don't like that either. I feel like uh, would have had way more success. Now he can't uh, afford it either. Elite step lancers. Uh, should he stay on the list of Lancers or try to make a Paladin switch soon? That's my question. I mean, his eco is still shaky. Obviously, he didn't go full boom. Wait, one second. Sorry, I'm back. Dragonstar can maybe clean up the initial push, but all this forward castle and production are the real problem. That's the thing. You need siege, right? And uh, you would need those Tatar traps with the extra range. Uh, Kashyyyk might be doing a decent job against the Step Lancers. Not in those numbers. Those and those are elite Step Lancers. Those are not onagers yet from Kamigawa, and there's siege onagers from Matt as well. Oof. Legionaries now coming up from Valas. Legionaries are gonna absolutely clean Sicilians back to whatever. I would say back to Vubli, but there weren't a thing on the Vubli times. Sito is here with a couple of camel archers. I don't think they're gonna make a a difference though. And now Nolo is starting to push. P -p -p push! Oh man, looking rough. 100, more than 100. Eco difference. Not eco, pop, sorry. Well, almost 100 eco difference as well. There is a day where, well, he doesn't need to. Re <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. I guess he needs it. I guess he needs it for our hearts, for our, you know, satisfaction. <laughs> All right. It's it's looking rough. It is looking rough for Team Sito. I don't know how they're stopping all of this force. Good attempts though. There are a couple of bomber cannons. Uh, Mad doesn't have villagers around here to repair. Nice legionaries, Valas. <laughs> Valas be like, where the fuck are is my army? <laughs> I have 41 on the field. Where are they? They're planning their attack. How many are they? Oh my god, 10. 
<laughs> All right. Maybe they're waiting to jump scare people. I imagine this freaking halberdier, like, oh, I'm going to, and they're like, boo. You know? And he dies of a heart attack instead of a, a sword from a sergeant. Doesn't have an idle military button, it seems. It seems. Sergeants don't even use swords. Okay, what the hell are they using then? Give let me Oh shit, that's an axe. Alright. Well This dude could drop if he loses what what happens if he loses his axe? What happen what happens if he loses it? Like, is he just gonna run back to his mommy? No. He's gonna pick up a fucking sword and start killing people with it, no? He's fucked. <laughs> Alright. Waiting behind me high walls worked for Militia's line earlier. Why not again? True. True. Did I see Sito making hussars? Or, or is that what my Christian eyes are seeing? Ooh, ooh, the damn Nolo! G to the G, boys. All right. All right. I need to... I need to send this to Wallace. <laughs> Monos! Monos is a sexy player. All right. Get you ours. Hey, there, Monos. How's it going? Uh... Tanks. Look at that kitty. Professional. Best boom in the game. Dragon Star had the most villagers. 50 fishing ships. 50. Most resources collected. That's the best boom right there. Dragon Star, most villagers, and tanky rest behind. Crazy. Crazy. All right, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. Team Valas and Team Tato remain undefeated. T-West, thank you for the raid. Appreciate it. Hope you had a good stream. Hope you enjoyed the games. Welcome, everyone. Team Valas taking the set 2-1. Let me see... If they want to join for an interview. Hey, Avalanches. How's it going? Professional graphics? Yes, sir. Angerlon, thanks for the follow. Welcome in, everyone. Uh, we got two more Rage Forest sets today. And then son. Two more. All right. I get Monos and Monos confused. I think they're the same person. Well, not the not the first, not the last one. Hey, my stroke can all be Tato sent me here to follow him on his Rage Forest game versus Valas. 
Team Valas didn't play Team Tattoo so far, didn't they? Okay, wait, there, there. Hello. 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 C congrats, guys. How's it going? Hello. Thanks. Hey, Christy. We didn't uh, see your. <laughs> what do your you think appear. of my performance? Yeah, exactly. I was expecting that for game three, but Valas this time didn't didn't trust you fully. I yeah, all these idiots lost the second game, sir. So. Yeah, okay, sorry. Inside, uh, unbelievable. Okay, let's um, go a bit back. Take the take game by game. Game one, first of all, good thing that you could restore that game because that would have been a pain to replay. Uh, then, congrats on first defeat of Mongols. I don't know That's why. The first time they've been played. Yeah, exactly. I don't know why people <laughs> are keep banning those. They're trash, man. You guys uh, easily defeated them. Definitely. Yeah, sure, <laughs> man. <laughs> yeah, like we were in a winning position and they. Just held on, because Mangit, I can just do everything. Exactly, exactly. So I was casting that game. I was like, oh, they're pushing so hard on the right side. This game is completely over. Dragon Star only has four Mangadais and one monk. Surely he's going to be dead. But uh, little did you know that that Mangadai number just increased. And just like Chrissy said, they can kind of do everything. Um, I think the most dangerous thing with that Civ is the Drill essay. Yeah, we probably yeah, should have made more of those and focused on micro days instead of the Manga Die. Okay, so there are a, a lot of things that happened that game. First of all, I think uh, Valas got some really nice forward walls in that game. I think that was the game where Sito played the poles. Uh, yeah, I think. Yeah. So... Was the initial plan for Valas to just hold that side and uh, three players are going the other one from the beginning? Or, well, yeah, from so the beginning? I was supposed to give them onages so they didn't get in, but I was a bit slow to that, and then it sort of went downhill from there and early on. Okay. Uh, after I saw Mihai's suicide with his wills, um, I, told, I told my team to just come here, I'm going to fast temp. Oh, true, man. You you were destroying in the Vill War. Yeah, I don't know what, what, what no, the hell he was doing. I don't know, man. He was trying to do... He was trying to lose six balls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Out of my oh, yeah. <laughs> That's funny, yeah. Greediness. And he lost the uh, Monk yeah. War. Greediness uh, didn't pay off in that scenario. Um, So, I feel like, Nolo, in all the three games, you had very good uh, Vill Wars and a very good start. As flag, um, and then you guys were pushing convincingly. You went fast in that game, monk traps. You were held by the pockets. You guys were pushing, but then, then the game froze. Then the game froze. Yeah. Yep. Um, you were being pushed back, and at some point, Mihai was actually ahead of you in boom because he just like sit back, boomed. Mongols pushing uh, back on their own. Yeah. The thing is that um, Aztecs don't scale very well, um, unlike Byzantines. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's kind of awkward what unit to go with, how to transition out of monks there. Mm -hmm. Takes but, a while. But man, one thing that I really want to point out is Nolo's usage of the lakes. I, I feel like every time he's one of my favorite flanks to watch just strictly from this regard because if there's a lake he knows how to take advantage of I think you docked the lake in Mihai's pond like five times like no matter how many times you were pushed back from it you you kept holding the position there never gave up he never gave up on that and not to mention the one in his base obviously a Byzantine castle on a hill in front of that lake helped but my man, you had repairing that forever, and that castle actually got around thirty four k damage. That that that's Holy crazy. Shit, yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, it was yeah. impressive to see, like just the the micro on the drone in the in the lake. 
And I think my team, my team did a really good job at um, taking fights when they had like 20 siege. We can clean them like once or twice, mm -hmm. and that bought, bought me enough time. Yeah. So, all in all, a very, very good game. Entertaining. Probably one of the best ones from Rage Force so far, a game one. Uh, that might have been the longest game of the tournament so far, probably. Might, <laughs> yeah, think. yeah. A good thing you could have, you could restore. Uh, did you guys have fra uh, freezes after the restore? Because my capture oh. was freezing uh, like crazy. Literally. Only uh, once before it crashed. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Um, second game. Uh, second game went, went kind of south a bit. Yeah, we don't talk about second game. <laughs> okay, On we to just, game three. We just talk a bit. Because Valas noticed this, or he knew about the sneak. He pinged it. About yeah. Sitos. But then no one actually cared about it. Like he, I he also knew about the um, Mihai sneak. Mm. Yeah, I, I I thought he didn't pass by the lake, and so I just searched on the left side. Whatever. Mm -hmm. Maybe I should have opened if I stayed. Yeah, I feel like a lot of damage was was done, especially by Sito sneak, right? I could have dealt with that a lot better, but I also got sneaked on my leg, so I had to make yeah, fires. And yeah, exactly. Because you mm. had to kind of deal with uh, both Sito's uh, archer, archers and then fight for the leg, so that put you very behind the uh, dragon star was your pocket, I think. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I mean, that went kind of straightforward for them. Yeah, they got, but they probably didn't expect to get both their sneaks inside. Mm -hmm. so it was like the ideal situation. Yeah. So that's uh, it's quite straightforward. I don't, I don't think, I don't think there's too much to talk about that game. I feel like uh, maybe uh, tanks could have done a stable earlier on and clear that, but obviously you didn't know the amount of damage and you went up with a market blacksmith. So then afterwards, it's harder. Yeah. Yeah, I think we agreed on that. Yeah, stable would have been good. Mm -hmm. Usually when you ignore or pretend the sneaks aren't there, they they don't disappear magically. Mm -hmm. uh, and then game three. Oh, also, yeah, there was the fight uh, in game two before Paladin. Uh, uh, that was weird, but I feel like you were kind of forced to take that fight, right? If you wouldn't have... Yeah, I can yeah. wait until uh, Sarah's and S40 heavy camels. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I didn't take a fight and lose all. It, it was completely... It, it was... Like, I was too late up to get to Paladin before they have too many units. Mm. So hmm. That's true, yeah. was was harsh to see it, but anyway, game three, uh, felt like from the beginning you guys had a lineup that required for fast push. I felt like, especially on the Romans Cuman side, mm -hmm. that kind of yeah, like, guess why guess why the uh, pockets switched around. Like this game, Valas was playing. Yeah, I did. I I did notice for that. So he is gonna give him Cav and uh, Castledge and roll aside. I don't know. Well, that would have been clever, but it's actually because Nolo doesn't have the DLC, so Valas. Yeah, I want, I want boy that <laughs> shit DLC. <laughs> the aye, aye. Wait, man, you still had a great uh, job on your flank. I mean, the move to you were feisty against Sito, but he kind of pushed you back a bit in your corner with the forward balls. But you once again were like, "Hey, I have a lake." I'm gonna game with the lake. So you tr the transport villagers into more forward walls from you. That was actually very, very good. I, I like that. <laughs> yeah. Good job. And then Valas on the other side, uh, <laughs> just murdering through villagers from behind like it's nothing. Do you think he should have um, deleted the gate and let those villas in? Oh, that would be terrible for yeah. him. Yeah, I, I, go to the way. I feel like that would be even worse, right? Because then, yeah. yeah. 
and you then have to sacrifice them. And then you had a sneak in that lake as well. Uh, was that actually game two or three? I think no, it, no, no, it was two, right? Now, there was yeah, a point where a Mihai could have snuck onto Matt's lake. I don't know how much he would have been able to do with it, but he decided mm -hmm. not to, or was too busy to think about it. I think once uh, Kamigawa dropped three TCs instead of coming with Army initially, I think it was pretty. It was going to be a steamroll on that side with Cumans. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Mihai was in a bit of a coma from the beginning, then. Oh, yeah, thanks. Why no uh, Capdram earlier? Uh, because uh, I just needed to make army because the pocket was making full army, so I don't mm -hmm. know. Mm -hmm. okay. And I think he would just weave all make a rank on hell. You cannot break it in Castle Okay. It's just a tight gap. No. I don't know. Yeah, I think because the guy's still in feudal age and there's no one helping him, normal rams can get in quite easily. But yeah, they yeah, could have done rams. I don't think it would have made too much difference. Plus, he got 300 food, so you have less army. Yeah. So other than that, again, pretty straightforward. I, I also feel like the um, the timing from uh, Sicilians on their side was quite on point. But then by that time, you guys were already doing enough damage. Fallas was uh, boomed back into the game, and he had legionaries, which kind of deal with all of that infantry. So pretty straightforward. Yeah, so the sergeant opening works well against me for like two minutes, yeah. and then mm -hmm. exactly. once we get all our players together, it's just rubbish and it's a waste of gold. Yeah. Okay, so I get I'm not asking about the trap legionaries because I feel like this is a taboo <laughs> subject. I mean, I would notice them eventually, but. <laughs> well, it was just funny. Yeah, come on, Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. I had my fun as well with the set. Okay, so yeah, I think uh, I think that's enough from me. I feel like the games were pretty straightforward. This was a good win for you guys. Obviously, Team Sito, I think they're seeded 10. So you guys were the clear favorites. However, they did surprise us before with the... a win against Barros. Yeah, yeah that was that's impressive. made it look at the probably higher than 10. Mm-hmm based on that, and this series was quite close. Yeah. So yeah, I think they're actually a... I mean, obviously our team was very high healer. Mm -hmm. We didn't know how well they'd, like, gel, but they're quite no. dangerous. So yeah. how does the seeds work? Because they were... Didn't they take Team Bar's number two seed, and now we've taken that from them? Uh, I don't think the seeds change. Well, yeah. the first... Just the initial seeds. Yeah, well, I mean, first of all, Captain's rated the captains between themselves right so they can have an order for the draft and then once again captains uh, rated the teams from my understanding yeah, yeah. so there's, yeah. there's that all right okay okay guys uh thank you for joining i'm gonna prepare for the next set it's probably gonna start soon yeah you've got a lot to do haven't you <laughs> that was quite a long one yeah, but you know what? That's actually perfect because when it started, I was thinking, oh, what am I going to do for three hours and a half if the set is going to be done in two hours, like the previous ones? So, yeah, I thought there were loads of sets today. Uh, yeah, there's three of them. Today. Yeah. Right. So, yeah, thanks for joining, right. guys. Congrats once again. Thanks for casting. And yeah, thank thanks you. for taking all the time. And uh, good luck in the next round. Yeah, good luck in the next cast. Thank you. <laughs> thanks. Bye-bye. Yeah. Bye. Bye-bye.